just to whet your appetite for your next physics course, which contains additional mathematical techniques. Here is the motion of one pendulum hanging from a second pendulum. Here is the motion of a pendulum that has an elastic string. Once you've calculated the vector sum of a few forces that act on one mass, there is nothing more to learn before you can sum 100, 1,000, or 1 million forces acting on a mass. The only difference between the student and the professional scientist or engineer is the use of the computer to perform millions of calculations. We can add a few force vectors by hand, but it saves time to program the computer to add millions of them for us. Modeling a large system is done by dividing the object into a mesh of small cubes and then adding the forces on each cube. Each cube affects its neighbors, just as happens when one person pushes a neighbor in a line of people. A person in the middle can push a person in front only by pushing a person in back, and this forward and backward push propagate all the way down the line. Movie and game animations of people and animals apply Newton's law to each element of a grid, as is done in surgery simulations. The force of each grid element is calculated and can be represented by color 